in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. Is TV and or internet addictive? Let me ask you again. Is TV and or internet addictive? This world psychologists say it can be. I encourage you to read the verse of the Bible from Romans chapter 12 verse 2 and Philippians chapter 4 verse 8 and I will give the lesson with the emphasis on the pointers below. The purpose of the lesson is to show that TV watching and or internet use can be addictive. Thus, our youth must be very careful. The memorical verse we have selected for this topic is taken from Romans chapter 12 verse 2, which says, And do not be confirmed to this world. Let me repeat it, Romans chapter 12 verse 2, and do not be confirmed to this world. Let me start by asking you some questions and know about your opinion on TV and the internet. How many hours Per week, do you spend watching TV or accessing the internet? How regularly do you watch TV or access the internet? What is your opinion on some of the things you see on TV or the internet? TV watchers or internet users become addicted when they spend a great deal of time using the TV or the internet by accessing various sites or chatting. Signs of addiction are using it more than one in ten, thinking helplessly about reducing use of Use or making repeated unsuccessful efforts to reduce use, giving up important social, family, or occupational activities to use it, and reporting withdrawal symptoms when one stops using it. Addiction to TV and or internet use is a very serious problem. Why? Addiction in general is something very harmful. One must be in full control of his or her own time and life and must not be controlled by any substance or any views or any shows. What is on TV? We can find plenty of violence sex and wrong views that do not conform with the Holy Bible or Christian life. We can find bad language, violence and the sexual sense all have negative effect on the viewer and spoil their characters. Visiting bad sites on the internet has a similar effect. What are the effects of TV and or internet ad addiction? It has an impact on our behavior. A screen violence will lead to real life violence. Sexuality and the use of bad language are also significantly induced by TV and or the internet. 
disrespect for parents, lying and engaging in aggressive behavior increase dramatically with the use of TV and or internet. And as a Christian, we need to be aware of these cultural influences on ourselves and our families. Another impact is psychological and spiritual implications. As Christians, we must be careful not to let TV and or internet make us conform to the world as we are told by the Holy Bible from Romans chapter 12 verse 2, but instead we should develop a Christian world view. And from the book of Proverbs chapter 23 verse 7, as he thinks in his heart, so is he is mentioned, so people who watch a lot of TV or go to bad sites on the internet see the real world as more dangerous and frightening than those who watch very little. Heavy viewers are, are less trustful of their fellow citizens and more fearful of the real world. TV and or internet with all their wrong ideas, language, sex, violence and imaginary world can have a negative effect on our spiritual life. We have a real example case, a young Christian man who was 26 years old, married a nice Christian girl. This young wife was very successful in her career in her spiritual life and in her service in the church. Unfortunately, the husband became addicted to the use of computers and in particular to the internet. What was the outcome? His career became a total disorder. His daily life, his spiritual life and his communication with everyone were greatly damaged. He needed psychological help. His case was very hard to improve. What do we learn from today's lesson? The first one is, we should know that, or God already told us, TV and the internet addiction is a growing problem. The second one is, most people agree that the internet is a productive tool for research and for finding documents, but has serious negative consequences when it is used in a negative manner. TV and the internet addiction makes the person socially isolated and unskilled. And the other one is the next time you log on to the internet or watch a TV program, you should ask yourself if the Lord would approve of these websites, chat rooms that you are visiting or these TV programs you are watching. If you have to ask those questions, you are most likely headed in the wrong direction and you should repent. And the last one is in a similar fashion, just like drug addiction, seems subject to a law of diminishing returns, so does watching TV or using the internet. The researchers found that people watch a great deal longer than they plan to, even though prolonged views is less rewarding. This is all about our today's topic. God bless you all. Let the intercession of our beloved mother, St. Mary, is with us all. Have a blessed day.